me about your bike shop, I'll show you. Hey, you're all pointing to... No, don't, don't do this to me now. Why don't you talk to me? He's the club leader. He can do Is he? Yeah, but he's more knowledge. Who's the chairman? <laughs> oh, he's in there, isn't he? Come on, chairman. Oh, your team leader. Front and centre. Right, tell me about your club and your members. Right. How big are you? Uh, the club's your name first? My name's Paul Turk. Right. Uh, I run the Kent section. Uh, it was founded in America. Well, right in the sun there as well. Right. I'll go like that, yeah, go on. Yeah, it was founded in America and it came over here in 82. So, yeah, this year's 40 year anniversary of the club. And it's all Japanese motorbikes. All Japanese, yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, what makes you like the Japanese motorbikes? I mean, we've got a lot of people around here with British motorbikes. Yep. And what makes you guys like the Japanese ones? Uh, More reliable? Reliability, uh, well, we've got... Less oil leaks. Well, there ain't none, look. Yeah. All dry trays. All dry trays. And I can see they're special trays as well. <laughs> they're not milk tray. <laughs> but yeah. So, start from this end, then the car is like me. Now I used to be a motorbike person, but that's when I pulled off now, so I don't do that no more. <laughs> Lovely looking bike. There's a CC. Who, who's that belong to? Uh, that belongs to that man over there. Does he want to come and talk to me about it? Come on. A... Come on, Gary. No? It's a bike. Alright then. Alright, we're moving on to the Honda. Who's is the Honda? You gonna tell me about it? Nah, yeah, see? Here you talk to me. What's your name? My name is Dave Jupp. <laughs> and you're from? Banstead. Banstead. Right, Honda. That is a Japanese market CBX 250. CBX 250? It's a single four valve engine, two carburetors, and quite quick. And quite quick. And did you buy it in that condition or did you do More the Morris. tank has been respray because it went perforated. Yeah, but the rest of the tanks go off, though, didn't they? They can do. But the rest of it is as I bought it. Yeah. What about on today's petrol? Is it run alright on today's petrol? Yeah, I use an additive. Oh, okay. Because yes. they're, they're putting so much in these petrol these days. And yeah. The old motorbikes don't like it. I mean, I'm into old tractors and they spit the spatter around. Yeah, there. the modern fuel is absolutely yeah. rubbish. So, what year would it be? That's A Ridge. Now, what was that? 90. A? Eh? Say, it? 80 something, isn't it? 80s. So we call it the 80s, shall we? It's an 80s yeah. bike. And do you ride it every day or is it just I a show? Have, it's not a show bike, I have ridden it quite a bit, but it's had a refurbishment. I've re-zinked all the nuts and bolts and yeah. just given it a tidy over yeah, the tidy lock, up. over the lockdown while I had the opportunity. It's fantastic, mate. Right? It's nice nice pedals I like to call it. And keep up the riding, yeah? Don't yeah. like being old boring fellow like me, give them up because they oh, it hurts. Who's is this bike here? This belongs to this chap here. This yeah. chap here. And there's another of it. It's saying about Ondas, everybody likes, isn't it, Ondas? Ah, oh, lovely bike. Are they? My brother had one of these, so. Unless you like Suzuki's or Kawasaki. Or Yamaha. See, I like Yamaha's, you see. Nothing wrong with Yamaha's, I've got yeah. those as well. Have you? Oh, yes. Is that what they used to call the Fizzy? No. No, that's bigger than the Fizzy, isn't it? Yeah, it's a 100cc Jet Twin. Jet Twin. So I remember that when I was apprentice, everyone has the Fizzies. Yeah. That's right a few that. years ago, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, you're talking about the 70s. This is the 60s. Really? Yeah, it's got that weird shape. It's like it's all one big it brush, is. isn't it? It is. It is a steel pressing, yes. Really? Yeah. Well, so it's also Fizzy. Really? Yeah, the Fizzy. What's yeah. the Yeah. And you've got the Suzuki next door, isn't it? No, man. Belongs to that. that band, isn't it? That's his bike. That's your bike. Come front and send it you. Thanks ever so much. What was your name again? Dave Jupp. Thank you, Dave. Right, so right. everyone's got Ondas or the cracker in the back down there. Yeah, okay. He don't want to talk to me, so we're not talking He's to like him. He's like that. Kawasaki yeah. owners are like that. Lovely Suzuki. Yeah, it's not bad, it's right. Naked bike. Yep. We like naked bikes, they're lovely bikes. Like anything they? naked. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly. Mostly. <laughs> Why is Suzuki? It turned up. Big, brash, talky, fairly quick, usable. You can yeah. use it anywhere. Yeah, even in the winter time you can just crack on the bit. This morning. This morning and it was winter. It was. Winter, wasn't it? So what age is this thing? 79. 79? Yeah, 1979. And 40 you, odd years old. Did you buy it like this or did you restore it? it mostly together, restored it. Yeah, someone had butchered it, made it a little bit. Boy, I've seen a lot of these left in gardens. 
lights and it all, all the added crowds and, and the brake sees up yeah. and they're in a right old time. It's a shame really because it's a lovely looking place as well. Isn't it? Yeah, most, of them, most of them can be brought back to life to be honest. Really? A bit even, of loving. even when they're in a... Even when they're really, really bad. You'll really. be surprised. And so it's a thousand cc job. Yeah. Is it is it up to a modern thousand cc or is it no, a bit? No, no, it's a lot slower, but it's still 235 mile an hour. Well, that's fast enough. Anyway, <laughs> so eh? Fast enough to lose your license. Fantastic. I appreciate you giving me your time. Your no name was again. My name's Andy. Thanks, Andy. No worries. We're moving on to another round of the Gold Wing. This is the Gold Wing. Yep. Where's Ian? One with a day go top on. He's ignoring me. He is. <laughs> We're just, we're just filming them, we won't talk about it. <laughs> Dave will tell you about it. Who's Dave? Yeah, yeah. Dave, come on Dave. Oh, Dave Judd, isn't it? He knows everything. Yeah, this is a GL1000. A flat four, water cooled, four cylinder machine. Yeah. It was sort of their first idea of a sort of cruiser type bike. Yeah. The gold wings was, weren't they? Yeah, it was designed. Were they a police bike as well? Oh, they used to use them for police bikes. Yeah. So. They were I remember it because they used to chase them. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's fair as a CC job, the same as a Zuggin, it's all, but this is more of a tour, Yes, yeah, so this has got shaft drive. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. More reliable, would you say, guys? Yeah, much the same. You've got shaft and they're reliable. Yeah. No, no. Lovely looking bike though, it's been well, well looked after again, yes, hasn't it? Yes, yes. All the chrome work looks nice. It is nice. Thanks a lot, thank you for showing me. And who's is the Honda? It's mine. <laughs> it's yours! It's always, he's, he's, he's up in the line right here, isn't the man, you see. He's got two, he's like me with track, he's got too many of them. Yes, you're probably right. And this is a little 50cc job, is it? Yes. It's called a CB50V. CB? CB50V, yeah. and it, it's known as the Dream 50, because it was built as a 50 years of Honda, to celebrate 50 years of Honda. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's in the style of the early races, 60 yeah. races. It's not, it's a homage. It's got the drop handlebars like the old um, yeah. racers bikes, they're yeah. calf races, weren't That's it? That's right, yeah. yeah. But it's styled like the Honda's works races in the 60s. Yeah. And, uh, but it's not, it's a modern bike. So it's a, oh, is it a modern bike? How old is it? Uh, 30 years old. How many 20? Well, not that modern, really. Compared with most of them, it is. So you garage all your bikes, because they're all kept really spotlessly yeah, clean, right, yeah. yeah. And how many bikes have you got then? Nearly 40. How many? Nearly 40. Nearly 40, did you say? Yeah. Lime, I've been collecting them since the 80s. Oh, the camera's got a bit weird. One second. Right, you've been collecting since the 80s, you said? Yeah, and I first, when I was first doing it, I used to restore two bikes a year. <laughs> and, and are you married? No. Oh, that's all that is. That makes a difference. All right. I appreciate your time, and the Suzuki is someone else's or is it yours again? No, 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 no. The Suzuki belongs to the man in the Leathers. Is he going to come and give you a chat about it? Fantastic. I will, I will try. Right, GS1000. Yes. The uh, overhead cam is that? Double overhead cam, Double eight overhead cam. Now, what's the difference between that Suzuki and that one up there? Uh, You're right in the sun, sorry. Can I come round here? Right, that's better. As far as I know, they're the same model. Right. This is a February 1979 model. Sorry, I didn't catch your name first. Trevor, Trevor. From where? Uh, Larkfield. Larkfield? Oh, yeah, Larkfield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, this is a uh, February 1979 GS1000 ET, 25,000 miles. Uh, I bought it last year for a friend of mine. Uh, he having done a lot of work in... In this condition? Yeah, I bought it in this condition. All I've done is clean it. But uh, I do have a 750 version of this, which I've had for 40 years. I uh, love the 750s. Just about, just in, white. in black as well. In black as well. Mm. Lovely. But it takes a lot of cleaning. All these nooks and crannies takes a lot yeah, of cleaning, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. But, uh, it's got original exhaust on it, four into two. Yes, yeah, you ain't got the straight through exhaust, so no. you've got original with, with baffles on it and everything. Yeah, yeah. It rides very well. Um, yeah. It'll do 50 to the gallon. Really? You need that nowadays, don't <laughs> you as well? Yeah. yeah. 
it's a lovely looking bike, you must be proud of it as I say. And keep the garage, and keep looked after. Yes, yeah. Uh, one reason I bought it was it was, it was the paint job on the tank. Yeah. Plus it's a uh, thousand as well. It's all been repainted. So I'll ask the rude question, when did you pass the motorbike test then? 1974. <laughs> <laughs> you're still riding today? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, over 40 years I've been riding bikes. It gets a bit dangerous on the road these days, isn't it? Well, you have to just have your wits about you and have a, definitely have a sixth sense. Well, lovely to meet you and lovely to tell me yeah, about your bike. And you. just one more, what's your name again? Trevor. From? Larkfield. Thank you, Trevor. Thank you for your time. Thank Cheers. You. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Who's this list of yours? It belongs to the group, yeah. Group, tell me about the group. <laughs> the group. Well, you all packing up going on there, is it? No, 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 just checking things out. Um, Heritage Sprint is an event that's taking place down in Deal yeah. uh, in August this year. Sprint race for classic bikes, custom bikes, oh, okay. bike show, food fair, live music, yeah. and generally good weekend. Um, we represent it. The little bike that's in front of us is uh, belongs to us. It's an original Sprint bike. Yeah, lovely looking bike. The yeah, it was um, built in the 1960s by a 17-year-old apprentice. No, oh, really. Um, we restored it. That's when I was apprentices in those yes. days, wasn't I? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, not very quick by modern standards, but rather pretty. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And uh, all these bikes. These are ours. You. That's yeah. That's my little learner bike, which I learned to ride on one of those. God, I remember the one two fives when I was young man. That was the next one after passing your test and being a from a fizzy to that's it. one two five. You, you aspired to that, didn't you? Yeah. And this one, who's is this well, one? This, this is uh, a special built by the young man falling asleep against the window. Is he, is so he going to talk to me, or is he not? Is he going to annoy? annoy? You going to talk to me about your bike? Of course. <laughs> Front and centre then. I'll go behind you because the sun's behind you. How can I help? If you go there, and I'll talk to you here. Right, tell us a bit about your, sorry, name first. Marcellus. Sorry? Marcellus. Marcellus. And where are you from then? Here in Maidstone. Here in Maidstone. What a funny name to have in Maidstone, isn't it? They don't, yeah. That's not normally a Maidstone name, is Italian it? Italian roots. Oh, right. Okay. Right. You're Lister. Now, I associate Lister with little engines. Now, what, why is this called a Lister and what is that all about? Uh, I'm in the motorcycle industry and I, I do build motorcycles for a living. Right. I built this particular one as ones before it. I build them with a, a sort of a 1920s influence. Yeah. This particular one, after I finished building it, I didn't really have a name for it to say. Uh, and I didn't want to plagiarise the name of, a, of an established motorcycle manufacturer. Yeah. I've always liked Lister engines. Yeah. Lister never produced a motorcycle. Reliable engines, aren't they, as they well? Um, as you know, Lister never produced a motorcycle. But I figured if Lister ever did, yeah. uh, it might be look like something that. like this. Yeah, exactly. It's a, I love the little, uh, little, I thought it was an oil tank, but it's not a, what is that there then? Originally 1947 Atco lawnmower, um, it comes apart um, so you can actually put a uh, bomb. This in. is Second World War German field telephone box, um, BMW seat, BSA exhaust, the emblem on the front is uh, 1927 I believe Cadillac LaSalle. Um, and the rest of it is just parts that Odds were and sods. assembled to, to make what you see before you. So when you say you're in a motorcycle wings industry and you build bikes, what sort of bikes do you build then? This I sort could, of thing? Um, the, the past four bikes I've built have all had a 20s influence. Right. But I've built calf races, I've built uh, bobbers, choppers. Nice um, But I do the bread and butter work as well you know the work that actually earns you money as you say you need to earn a crash <laughs> don't you you do uh, so i do the servicing of all of all the modern stuff and yeah. repairs and uh, may i mention the name of my company yeah, very you're very welcome uh, it's dfx moto and yeah, based I'm, in 
uh, here in Maidstone and I'm, I'm on the power hub at St. Peter's Street in Maidstone. Fantastic. Have you got a web address? Uh, you can find me on Facebook. Uh, that's the only sort of um, nice. advertising and I do. What, what's it called on Facebook? Then? DFX Moto. DFX Moto. Um, so you better say that again. DFX Moto. Fantastic. And then you come along and you come along to your workshop and design a bike with you. People can. Um, uh, when I build a bike, I tend to just build them the way I like them, and then I and then I sell them. But I have done a couple of builds where the customer has been um, involved. Involved. Now I mean, it's a bit arty, if you don't mind me saying so. Not at all. And yourselves a little bit high, but that's what makes an unusual looking. Motorcycle if you car, want unusual, come to my shop. No, I've also, I'd love to come to your shop. I, you're most welcome. I've also, also just recently finished a, a 160cc supercharged um, bike. Thank you very much. Uh, which will be running on the Heritage Sprint this year at. Um, um, oh, I've, I've forgotten the event. Uh, it's, it's the Heritage Sprint and it's at. Betsanger. Betsanger. Betsanger uh, Park. Well, I mean, if you don't mind, and you've got my telephone number in, when it's convenient, perhaps I can pop down and we can have a look at your workshop. Love you to. Tell me all about it, one thing or another, and introduce yourself and what, how your creative skills work. The workshop itself, when people come into the workshop, just coming into the workshop, that's an experience in itself exactly. because of the way it's decorated. <laughs> have you got a card, a business card? This is my only one left. So oh, okay. You're then most welcome to have Can that. I? Because then I can give you a call. The trouble is, when I give my cards out, I, I say to them, will you do me a promise? That, and, until I'm out of eye shot, don't throw the card away. <laughs> Now I've got your phone number and, okay. and the people can see it on the camera and uh, we'll have a day down your workshop. You're most welcome and the kettle is always within arm's reach. Fantastic. Right, tell me your name again. Marcellus. And Marcellus what? Marcellus De La Rosa. De La Rosa. And I own DFX Moto. Thanks for your time, I appreciate that. You're most welcome. Thank you very nice time. to meet you. Lovely looking bike. Thank you so much. Cheers, fella. I really appreciate that. Thanks, guys. I know you, don't I? Do I know you? The face looks familiar. No. <laughs> One of your, sorry. Where can I see the you? It's on the car. Yeah, it's on the car. So, do you have something to do with this as well? What do you mean? Yes. Yes. Me, me and Adam are heritage sprint. Oh, All right. He told me a little bit about it. You, you, you're running a little event shortly, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. And you're going to be doing that. And have you got a bike here? Is that your bike? This, bike, this is mine as well. Oh, well, that one's yours. That's a great looking one. The chap was telling me it was made by an apprentice. Yeah, in 1963, 17-year-old Richard Gota decided I'm going to build a bike. Yeah. But that was when apprentices were trained right, wasn't yeah, it? You yeah. see. So he Let's have a look at that. This is a Super Spawn. Four yeah. Roman. Now they're quite a popular bike back in the day, weren't they? It's still a popular bike. Are they? Yeah, there's a lot of them around. Did you buy it like that or did you no, restore it? No, it's been restored. The tank's original, the rest have been restored. Really? And it runs all right on today's petrol? Fine. Absolutely fine. Really? Plus it's sweet as that, this one. Really? Well, not and you still, you still ride her a lot? Yeah, rode it last weekend. Fantastic. What was your name? I didn't catch your name. Stephen North. Oh, or Northy. Oh, hold on. Oh. Stephen? North. From Northy. Northie. No, no, Northie. No, Northie. Stephen Northie. No, Stephen North, but people call me North. North. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Sorry. Right. No, 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 where are you from, Steve? Let's call Dover. you Steve. Dover. Dover. Thanks for yeah. giving me a look. Cheers, fella. And your name is Paul Wife. <laughs> Paul Wife <my> Elaine. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> See you later. Now there's a motley crew. Hey guys, how are we all doing, eh? What club is this thing? Someone shout at me what club is. AJS and Mattress are in this club. Alright, oh, why is there a BSA there? There's a BSA in this club. Alright, oh, sorry. Sure. Sure. That's AJS, is it? Yeah. We don't talk to them down there. No, I wouldn't have either. <laughs> so, all these nice bikes are your bikes, are they? Yes, yes. Yeah. And you all still ride them? Yes. Fantastic, I love this green one. Who's this one belong to? That chap there. What's your name? Where'd you come 
only from down here, sitting ball. That's far. Yeah. yeah. What's your name? Russell. Russell. Yeah. Now tell me a little bit about this bike. Is it an art? It's an armed bike, obviously. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a, a dispatch bike. Oh, hold on. That was all. The camera just went a bit. <laughs> Come on, come on, respond. There you go, it's responding, that's better. Right, tell us a bit about it then. The right of the sun there, unfortunately. It's, it's a 340, 340, B40, BSA B40, 350cc, yep. uh, 1967. Oh, and um, it did, it, uh, they made 3,000, I believe, of this model, 800 was specced up for the British Army on the Rhine. Um, this is one of those, so it, it did. It, it went out to Germany in convoy duties, and um, then it was returned back to civilians um, in 1985. So, That's got some history to it, uh, Yeah, I've only had it a couple of years. Yeah. Was it in that condition when you bought it? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yes, I just put a new carburetor on it. And so the way she went, you ride her a lot. lot. Quite a bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah do the club runs with the guys. So. Oh yeah, do the club runs, that's lovely. Yeah. Well, thanks ever so much. Give me, and your name was again? Russell. Yeah. Russell from? Sittingbourne. Sittingbourne. Cheers, Russ. Thanks for your no time. Trouble. Right, who's going to tell me about the AJS? Someone's going to talk to me about the AJS. Why are they called AJS? Oh, Russ, you're going to tell me Nobody? AJS. You're all shy. Made at Wolverhampton, right? I've always made in Woolwich. No, no, Mark, uh, is it Matchless that's made in Woolwich? Yeah, and eventually AJS were made down there. What's that? AJS means Arthur, Arthur John Stevenson. Can I come round here because I like to kill him? No, I reckon you're having this on, mate. Yeah. Right. <laughs> What's that? It's on, yeah. Right. yeah. It's on. Arthur John Stevens, he, they, he was part of the uh, Stevenson brothers who started right. off the company. And, uh, you know, they started off the turn of the last century, 1904, around there. Yeah. And they, they used to make all sorts of things. They made cars, they made radios, made all sorts of uh, uh, bikes, a lot. But they, unfortunately, they ran into cash flow problems in the early 30s. Um, well, a lot of people running into problems in the 30s. Well, they have problems now. They're not yeah, the yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the, the the thing is, the company was quite sound. Just haven't got enough. So they sold out to um, uh, Mattress down at Plumstead. Oh, I'll just stop you there because yeah. the sun's killing me. Right, so right. not me, the camera. Uh, to yeah. Yeah. They, Collier they, Brothers. They sold. They sold out to the Collier Brothers, who were right. who had the Mattress factory in Plumstead. Uh, and, and they, yes. they an old company went back and did very well in racing and what have you. So they sold out, so for most of the early 30s they, they moved all the machinery down there from Wolverhampton to the West Lake, to Woolwich and uh, they had the, you know, both lines making the AJS design and what have you and the matches making theirs but around the time of the war they basically combined so dur during the war uh, matches only made a uh, matches g3l for the military and then at, at the end of the war they start rebadging the military matches as a uh, an ajs m16 so because people traditionally in a motorcycle thing they, they had a favorites so i'm an aerial man i'm a bsa man i'm a national so they start badging these uh, uh, mattresses as, well, they were still making the mattress G3Ls, but they're now producing AJSs, but more or less the same bike. The only difference, the AJS had a magneto at the front, the mattress had it back behind the engine. So, uh, and then uh, they, they they did very well, and the British Motorcycle Industry went down, and then it all went pear-shaped all, all around about the same time. Yeah, yeah in, the, in the early 70s. In the early 70s, yeah. that's right. And it wasn't, it was, people say it's all the Japanese fault. No, it wasn't. No, it, was, it was our manufacturing ways that we didn't modernise it really, wasn't it? Well, that was, that was, that was part of it. And our management. Yeah. Because when you look at it, I mean, I looked at some of these old uh, factories, because I'm, I'm an old boy like yourselves, you know, and some of the manufacturing uh, processes was ancient, yeah. you know. And uh, yep. you think, no wonder they used to leak oil all the time, because, yeah. uh, you know, people would bring a brand new bike out and they go inside for a cup of tea, come back, and there's a pool of oil one thing there from the other side, wasn't it? Yeah. It's only marking the territory. Sorry? It's only marking the territory. It's what? 
It's only marking the territory. Oh, really? That's like the and the dogs Spanish. do, isn't it? And well, they like mark their territory for well, us. I'll, I'll take your word for yeah. <laughs> it. was the mini and cheap motor cars after the end of the war. Yeah, mate, because men well, didn't need to ride. They wanted a driving license off the war, did they? Obviously, yeah, the guys yeah, coming back from the war had driving licenses. And, 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 yeah. and so they bought a lot of the old pre war cars they could run around in. Yeah. And then the mini came out, and the price was even more. The last time I the mini was my tunic. And the wife said, I don't want to go on that smelly thing anymore. I want to go in a nice mini. Yeah. And that's, so it wasn't just the Japanese and the bikes, but you're right, the, the British manufacturer is still. Still producing bikes for the original clientele, men who went to work, put a sidecar on the weekend for family, but the Japanese clicked on to uh, bikes for pleasure, for young men to ride around in and what have you. And they was more like a workhorse than a, a, work a, a hobby a bike. Well, they, that's right, they were workhorse, they took them to work, they work every day. They work, work every day and I mean, if it. you look at all the old films, you see them rock. As the doors of the gates of the factories open, they'll come riding out on the right. bikes at first, cars are sitting in the little walk, but walking yeah, behind that, like, you know. And they've got a lot of right. tradesmen used to have sidecars on, bakers, carpenters, um, old milkmen used to have sidecars on the sidecars on the side of their bikes and what have you. So a lot of tradesmen used the uh, motorbikes. Yeah. Uh, well, it was right up to quite late. Yeah, the AA and the uh, uh, RAC yeah. used to have the the breakdown men on on uh, sidecar bikes. Yeah. But yeah, so. I really appreciate your Sorry. discussion about it. No guys, what was your name? My name's Gus Gus Keating. Yeah. And you're from? Uh, I live over in Lordswood. Thanks, mate. And your name okay. is? Yeah, Bert Spicer. From? And, uh, Sidcup. Sidcup. Oh, not far from me. And keep Mel going. Malcolm Fowell, and I'm from Herm Bay. For what good that'll do. And uh, the reason, we, if you've got a motorbike, you tell me his name. Dave, 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 Dave Moyes. If you go to, um, if you go to Spain on a motorbike, yeah, and you've got oil dripping out, they say, uh, well, is the oil? Why is English motorbikes always got oil dripping out? Is the honest truth? Yeah, yeah. They say, well, that's just the way they are. But they don't like oil on their salad. <laughs> I fell right in for that one, didn't yeah. I? <laughs> Cheers guys, see you later. Yeah, Lovely collection of bikes. Oh, I've got a squeeze, fat bloke squeezy through, it's a bit hard, isn't it? And they're all on HP. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a lovely new bike, who owns this? Lucky man, sort of pointing in your direction, so oh, right. what's your name and where would you come from? Uh, David Chambers from East Farley in Maidstone. Chambers, now that, I know a Tim Chambers, are you part of the same farm? Or I don't you? think so, no, no, I've always lived in East Farley all my life. Oh, right. I know Tim, the Chambers family, the big uh, fruit growers. In That's it, well we was farmers, yeah, we was all farms at one time. You're all cousins or one day are Probably right? somewhere along there, yeah. Okay, well tell us about your old bike then. Is it a modern bike been, or is it an old bike that you restored? No, it's, well I bought, made it like, I bought, I bought it like it really. I've done, I've done quite a bit of work to it myself. Yeah. Um, but just take you want to get a bit closer to it for me? Perfect, yeah. lovely. And do the Pioneer run. I've done four Pioneer yeah. runs with it. Yeah. And a couple of um, Romney Marsh runs. And then Romney Marsh and Bam. But uh, more at shows really than anything. Does it ride nicely? Yeah. What makes it easier, it's got a clutch. This model, this is the model. To oh, see. see the gear stick on the you side. The gear lever there, the clutch is there, yeah. and you've got a three speed Sturmey Archer rear hub. And is it belt driven? Yes, oh. belt driven on the other side. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll see you. Belt on the other side, it breaks. There's your braking system up oh, there, okay. on there. On that bit, there's brake lock on there. Yeah. But you might as well not bother because they don't really work. Really? You're better off with foot power, feet power. And then the belt drive on the other side. Fantastic. And what, what age? This one's 1913. Really? Let's see. Let's, it's settling. got a brook saddle on it, I see, as well. Yeah, brook saddle. Weird. And acetylene lighting, which is gas. But yeah, I know acetylene. We do well. Acetylene light. Well, well, yeah, that's right. Oh, well, we used to. We don't so much now, do we? You've got carbide crystals in the bottom, yeah. water in the top tank, and then it drips down. You regulate the water by that, and it drips onto the carbide, which produces, produces gas. gas. And you go around, and 
Yeah. Open that up. Swan Vesta. No, right there. Same with the rear. No. Rear line, same rear. That's fantastic, isn't it? Eh? That's British engineering at its finest, I think so, anyway. They were called the Trusty Triumph. Really? They, they were the dispatch riders in the First World War. No. Their favourite bike. Fantastic. And they were always classed as the Trusty Triumph. Give us a squirtly on then. Go on, give us a little squirtly on then. That's, good. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> it's a lovely looking bike. You must be very proud of it. What's your name? Where you come from again? David Chambers. And you're from? East Farley near Maidstone. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Cheers. Hello there. How'd you get a look at the shine card? It's been to Scotland. Is it? Yeah. So what are you guys? You're one little club or something like that? He's got that one. No. That's my little baby, this one here. Oh, hello. Oh, Dickie's there first, John. Oh, there with the Mount Goosa. Goosa. With the Mount what? What's it called? The Mount Goosa. Mount Marini. Mount Marini. Who's the um, that's my wife Anne. I'm Bob. I'm Jim. Jim, Jim and Roy. And Roy. Yeah. And you're all from where you're all from? We're we're from Paul in Dawson. Paul. So you come a long way then? Yeah, we oh, have. Yeah, yeah. Come on your bikes. Unfortunately not. I wouldn't come very far no. with that. No. no. So that was in the back of a van, was it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this is the first time we've come to this show, and yeah. we've really enjoyed it. It's, it's been great. very popular. It's crazy. You're better off in it. It is absolutely yeah. better. Oh, we've been on the open top bus today. Oh, did you? Yeah. We Oh, he comes from Ditton, Ditton, New Islesford, I'm from. Oh, right, so you're not a, a poor person then. And I came from Bearstead. <laughs> Bearstead? <laughs> Two minutes down the road. Yeah. Bear ass. But that's the first time I bought it up here. That's a fantastic bike. Oh, do you mind me having a look round and filming it? I'm going to let my motorbike inside, guys. ES2500. What's your name and where you come from? Me, I'm Jerry from Maidstone. Fantastic, yeah. Jerry. So, do you like the Norton series of bikes? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've been a member with them since 1994. Really? And I've got, got three of them. And this is Have, you like riding them, obviously. Yeah, they'll, they'll get ridden. Yeah. Is it an everyday ride? Everyday ride. ride. Yeah. yeah. The other, other one's dry and sunny day rides. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely looking bike as well, isn't it? Yeah, single cylinder. They drip a little bit of oil, don't they? This one's not too bad. It oh, does so you've got a can underneath that one, haven't you? Nah, sorry, this one's not too bad. It's, this is quite good. Fantastic. It's six volt, 500, magneto start. Really? So how long have you owned it for? This one about five years. Five years, yeah. And you say you've got another one, have you? Yeah, I've got the Commando. Oh, the, com the Norton Commando. Oh, no, yeah. the, the Norton bike, isn't it, really? Yeah. I've like so you've got all the original dash and everything on oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is yeah. it all original? Yeah. No pattern parts on it at all? No, not, not this one. You can see all the rust through it, but it's been painted yeah. over. <laughs> So it's, a, it's an everyday bike. Yeah. Lovely Great looking fun. bike. Lovely. Now, that's a bit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> shouldn't allow that today, should you really? Not really. You'd be slot, do some damage with that, wouldn't you? Yeah. It's part, of the, part, part of the bike, though. Um, who's this is BSA? Is that I, No, I don't know. No. I don't know. Fantastic. Tell me your name and where you come from again. I'm Jerry from Maidstone. Cheers, right. Jerry. Thanks for your time. Oh, good morning, girls. Oh, good afternoon, I should say, girls. Like, yeah, well, that was a long time ago, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Like me. Right, who's is this? Yours, Santa, do you? Uh, this is one of our bikes. This is my name. Tell me your names first. My name's Christine Etheridge. I'm Annie Higgins. And you're from? Maidstone. Maidstone. Maidstone, girls. Fantastic. Oh, so, mind the bar. Oh. It's got a rubber thing on the end of it, it's all right. Good. Right, now, tell me the... 
It's an unusual bike. Is it made up? Bike? It's what they call a trial trial side car. Right. It's so it's a two man crew, a two person crew. Not me. Yeah. I don't ride in this one because we race a Jalera Saturno, which is an Italian bike. Okay. And I'm the side car person during that. Really. We go to New Zealand, Holland, Belgium, France, Italy, Germany, and we race the Jalera. Fantastic. So you still like being on the motorbikes then? Oh yeah. Just I give up the motorbikes because they hurt when I fell off too many times. Just because I'm 78 and my husband's Are you 80. You should say that on camera. You look younger. Well no, but I'm I'm trying to say to people, you don't just you have give, to give up. up. You ain't got to give up on no. life. When you give up on life, when life you... gives up on you. Exactly. Yeah. I, I'm a great believer in it. Got, I mean, I don't reti I'm not retired. I'm 63. I'm not going to retire. What do I want to retire for? I think you'd be retired to die, didn't you? So. And it's nice to go to different countries. And it's nice being new people as well, like yourselves. Well, we. I, I would say, without being big-headed, we've got more foreign friends than English really? because, well, they've never seen a woman in a sidecar racing round really? at nearly 100 miles an hour going from side to side on a motorbike. Fantastic. So tell me your name again. Christine Everidge. Annie Higgins, and I'm responsible for that one currently. The Vincent. Are you tell me that we're about it then? Um, Conway Engineering, which is Vincent Restoration for England. Yeah. Um, so he builds them and races them and restores them. This is one he's built himself. I do like the back of the people, it's the little the cover around it. They yeah. set the chrome and everything yeah. look nice to me. Um, so he races this with the Lansdale Club currently. Um, and it's a lot of fun, it's very fast. Do the cat racing looks like a cat racing, doesn't it? I don't know. <laughs> He's just shining. That's nice. See you later. <laughs>